How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and and I'm just I'm gonna be transparent right here. Okay, bring it in close. I have some really bad gas right now. I don't know why. I don't know what I ate. I don't think it was anything out of the ordinary. Like my, my diet is very simple. There is a lack of a diet there, as as we can tell, but it, it's very simple for the most part. This has nothing to do with the rest of the video. I just thought you guys should know that uh, I'm in a gas chamber right now, and it's not pleasant, but I'm doing it for you guys. Today, though, we are taking a look at some idiots with cars, people that just somehow managed to find a driver's license in a cereal box or something. I don't know. Maybe they did a driver's license giveaway, and they got one. I don't know how these people got one. We're going to be taking a look at some uh, low IQ drivers, not necessarily crashing their cars, but just stupid people, stupid people, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive right in. If you've seen a clip like this, send it to my Instagram or tag me at Drew underscore 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 Drew Peacock. You can see it here on screen. Uh, send them there. Maybe they'll end up in a video. Let's dive right in. All right. First one, um, POV, your customer buys a new $35,000 car. Looks like he's going to celebrate. Looks like he's going to pop a little like celebration thing. What's the worst that can happen? You are, sir. Good? Absolutely. Because I don't want anybody else to be the first one to hit my car. I will be the first. Okay, I mean, to be fair, that little cardboard toilet roll paper towel tube isn't going to really damage his car, so... It can't be that wrong, but I mean, still, like, I wouldn't... <laughs> I'm not doing this to my truck. I just bought a new truck. Not happening. Alright, let's see it. Pretty nice. ineffective. Pretty <laughs> ineffective. All, all. Oh shit, dude! Oh, I love you fuck. and thank you for playing along. <laughs> all right. You know this guy froze when this shit happened. You know in his face he was like, "Oh fuck, oh fuck!" Can't believe you've done this. Like this was like just the worst idea possible. The little tap. I was like, when I first saw this clip, I was like, you know what? <laughs> Fair enough. There's probably a little scuff there. Baby scuff, but there's probably a little scuff there. And then this dude just curb stomps his car. This, I'm, I'm impressed with what this dude is wearing that he can afford this car. This guy looks like he could barely afford pants. You seen that meme where it's like my underwear looking at me, eye up the new pair of Jordans, and it's like Spider-Man with his like half-ripped costume and stuff like that? That's what this guy is wearing. I don't know how he afforded this vehicle, but fuck it. I mean, I mean he owns it. He could do whatever he wants to it. He just kicked... The hardest panel to fix and to replace. I mean, it's a big dent. It probably isn't that hard to bump back out, but still, like that. Kick a door, kick a fender. Those are way cheaper to fix than this. God, this guy's an idiot. Watch this not even be his car. I mean, just by the look on his face of just pure disappointment right there, it's got to be his car. I feel like he was thinking to himself, oh, fuck. Well, let's go along with it. God, that, that kills me. That kills me. Whatever. Don't let this guy near any of my cars. Jesus Christ. Don't be an idiot and don't do drugs or whatever the hell this guy's on. Next clip. Let's see what happens in this one. I don't, okay, well, I paused it right when it happened. So I'll restart it and let it play in its full entirety. But I was going to say, I don't understand why people see water up to their like doors and decide, you know what? <laughs> Got to get where I'm going. I'm sure school or work will understand if you just send them a photo like, sorry, boss, it ain't happening today. I'm going to have to use one of them sick days. Sorry. You know, I don't think he's going to say not nah, buy a fucking canoe and get to work. I don't think he's going to say that. These people, on the other hand, not 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 the brightest. Let's just watch the clip from the beginning. Oh my god. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? That's what you get. That are is you what you get. Wow. Why would you do it with the window down as well? Like that just doesn't even seem like a bright idea. Like why why <laughs> in in what world when you're traversing water on the goddamn Oregon Trail are you fucking leaving the windows down to just let everything get soaked? If you're in a Jeep or like something that's like able to be exposed to the elements more than the honda accord or whatever the hell this thing is leave the windows down who cares i think slingshots too they're really weatherproof for obvious reasons the honda accord here probably is not or whatever this is the audi a3 probably not a probably not a great idea if, if my girl did this to my car at this point she's walking might as well open the fucking door let her out and she's she's swimming to be fair she's not walking and she can't swim but i'll take that risk because i'm not gonna let idiots in my car if they're gonna be like this you know if she can't swim survival of the fittest it is what it is but yeah stupid people very stupid don't do that oh god what an idiot what an idiot i had to make it good for the gram the window was just a little too wet it wouldn't have looked good for the gram 
logic right there. Fucking idiot. All right, moving on. Um, yeah, ain't no way I drove 30 minutes for this meet. I mean, one, there's a lack of cars here, but what's this guy doing here? What's this guy doing? <laughs> Bro is doing bagels. Yeah, uh, to be fair, like, I don't have to worry about getting demonetized. This guy's just driving in a circle. He is not doing donuts. Nobody is, is in harm's way. This guy is as safe as can be, you know? Maybe, maybe he's making sure no one else does donuts. Give him a round of applause for that. He is stopping everyone else. This has to be, like, one of the most embarrassing things to see. And there's people even, like, oh, that's so cringe. There, there's dudes, like, hanging out the window or waving or, you know, do, doing something. I don't know. Fucking taking his underwear off in the passenger seat for his homeboy to hype him up. Like, oh, God, man. This, 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 is, cr this is awkward. This is cringe. This is, yeah. I mean, at least the car meets here are ratchet and entertaining. This is just, this is sad. This is sad. This is what happens when you let little Timmy take mommy's Audi to the meet. You know, little Timmy doesn't know how to turn off traction control. He doesn't, doesn't have the IQ for that. He's an idiot. Of course. At least he didn't destroy his mom's tires or anything. Or her car. So, yeah. I mean, I'll take this over someone hitting an idiot. So, there we go. Good job. Good job doing those bagels. I love that comment. Good comment, mister. All right, next clip. This, I mean, you could already see what's going on here. But let's let's just watch it. This is, this is, mm, 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 mm. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, it's so flimsy. Dude used what? wood screws, countersunk wood screws, just straight. Oh my god, this is a quick way to get shocked or electrocuted. Just drilled them straight into the back of his steering wheel that has a plethora of electronic controls on the front. Just just wood screwed self tappered them in there. Oh my I'm more impressed on how he did it. How do you get a drill back there? I mean, there's not much room. This idiot fucking MacGyvered something to get them in. But he got a drill back there and just sent it. Just sent it. And for what purpose? For what purpose? I mean, I guess they kind of look like paddle shifters. But what do you win? I mean, it's in a BMW. Okay, it's starting to add up here. It's starting to add up a lot. He's in a 328i trying to make it look like a DCT M3. It ain't happening. Nobody's buying it. That's so embarrassing, dude. Imagine going to, to pick up your car and your fake paddles are missing. Bro, where'd you put my fake paddles, dude? Where'd you put them, man? What the fuck? Like, I, I'm sure the customer was pretty upset that you took off his fake paddles. They, they look, I mean, they don't look plastic. They look like CNC aluminum, but I could, I could be, you know, mis, misled. They, they look, I mean, they look solid to me. I just, yeah, that's a quick way to get shocked, man. If you just get into one of those wires, I mean, dude, it's a bad, that's a bad day. That's a bad day. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you're going to stick these on, just use 3M tape on the back. It'll work. You know, you're not actually clicking them anyway, so it'll work. 3M tape, super glue. Um, use a piece of bubble gum. I don't know. Just anything but screwing into your steering wheel. That doesn't sound like a bright idea, but that's why he's in this video. He's an idiot. Fucking idiot. Moving on. I mean, he was an idiot when he bought the BMW, but doing that, even worse. Another BMW guy. Let's see what this idiot has to do. Let's see what this guy's doing. <laughs> that sounds like drive shaft to me. That sounds like drive shaft. <laughs> this guy's saying that it's fake. And that, you know, he's not showing because it's fake. But, I mean, you're seeing brake lights because he stopped. I mean, he didn't crash. He, cl he clearly wasn't doing a burnout. So, maybe, maybe it's fake. But to me, that, that sounds pretty authentic. Like, unless it's really well edited and really well acted. That sounds real. That sounds real. And it's not like he could just easily pop that into neutral. It's not manual. Yeah, oh god, what an idiot. What a fucking idiot. Drive shaft elite right there. I know my boy Brian's done that in his Miata. Not after doing a burnout, but trying to race the WAP. But uh, yeah, that just sounded painful. I mean, the car already sounded painful, but uh. Oh. What do you guys think it was? Do you guys think it was drive shaft or some sort of axle? The reason why I'm saying drive shaft is you could still hear it like rotating and shit. And uh, to me, that sounds like a drive shaft. That sounds like. The drive shaft. I don't know how else to explain it. Sounds like a fucking drive shaft. Yeah, uh, don't listen to your buddy. Uh, a $20 bill 
shouldn't get you riled up if you're driving around the BMW. You know, $20, that's chump change to a BMW driver. At least it should be. But if you're getting riled up and you're getting bricked up over 20 bucks, then maybe you shouldn't own a BMW. I'm just saying. You know, may, may, maybe maybe BMW ownership is a little bit too much if you're still getting bricked up over 20 bucks. If some dude was like, Drew, do a burnout in your McLaren. I would not do a burnout in my McLaren for 20 bucks. I'm not saying that this is the same value, but I wouldn't do a burnout in any of my cars for 20 bucks. For that, that being said, it's going to take a little bit more. You know, I, I, I ain't risking breaking shit for 20 bucks. I could do something else for 20 bucks, but we can't talk about that. Moving on. Anyways, uh, self-adjusting fender for driving with tucked wheels. Let's take a look at this bad boy right here. So you would think that I would hate this and I honestly don't. I honestly think this is a, a good idea um because it's saving his fender and his fucking wheels i don't know how it is driving at speed i would assume it is fucking flimsy and kind of rattling around but in all seriousness i think this is a good fucking idea i don't even like tucked or stanced cars but he is protecting his car and his wheels and i like that i do like that so like no bullshit i think this is a good idea again i don't know how it is driving at speed, and just like this comment says, you could just not camber and slam your car, but people are going to do whatever they want. I don't really care either way. I like this idea, though, because I've seen so many bacon fenders out there. If this truly does work and doesn't fuck up either thing to you know as much as just a normal bacon fender, if, if this truly does work and isn't like a flimsy fucking dick on a highway, you know, like an old man's nutsack, imagine hanging an old man out of a van and his nutsack just catching the wind. If it's not like that then it's probably a good idea. You know, you could also use a stiffer spring, which would help, or whatever you got to do. Multiple springs, but I honestly don't hate this. I saw this and I was like, that's a, that's a pretty good idea. I know it's in the idiot's video, but um, I knew you guys would think it was stupid. And then now, maybe after talking, you've changed your mind. Or not. Because everyone can have their own opinion. But I, I think it's cool. Moving on. All right, this, this is horrible. This... This is horrible. This is horrible. This person should not have a Porsche. I'm gonna say that. Let's take a look at this shit. Bro, just take off the wheels. Just take them off. So you get more coverage and you're not spraying your lug nuts <laughs> yeah uh seriously i feel like it's less work to just jack up your fucking car and take off your wheels it's way less masking and it's you're gonna get more full coverage when i plasti dipped what did i plasti dip no, no no i painted my factory mclaren wheels because they were silver and the car was silver and i was gonna replace them anyway so i was like fuck it i'm gonna paint them black i did a really good job but I took them off to do it, and I didn't get full coverage in the barrel, and it looked like shit. I would assume that this isn't going to look that good either, because you're just going to see a white face, and then the rest of the wheel is going to be, like, black or dark. Like, I feel like you should be able to see the inside, or, I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's Plasti Dip. Who gives a fuck? My biggest pet peeve is the, is the fucking white lug nuts. I think that looks stupid, especially because when you go to remove the lug nuts, I mean, this guy probably doesn't work on his own car, but if he goes to remove the lug nuts, it's going to peel the paint, and it just looks so tacky. It looks like a fucking... A, a hot wheel that some kid painted like it doesn't it doesn't look good i mean the white doesn't look bad but just the way that he did it doesn't look good you know and the comments aren't aren't happy either congratulations now it looks like a ghetto three thousand dollar car come on dude you can afford a porsche but you can't afford to get your wheels properly painted the only defense i will say is maybe he was testing the color like i really do want to test a color on the mclaren wheels and just see how i like it because the bronze is a little too dark for me it looks good, and I like it, but it's a little too dark, so I kind of want to experiment, and I know that if I try to experiment, people are going to be like, Drew, you have a fucking McLaren, bro, and you're plastic dipping? I want to play around and see different colors, and in that case, I think it's a good idea, but yeah, as for, as for this, though, just like this being a, a finished product, potentially, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Let me know, though. I mean, should I play around, see what different colors look like on the McLaren? I kind of want to. I mean... You only live once, you know? Might as well have some fun with it. Anyways, guys, 
Uh, yeah, that's our last idiot of the day. Just take off your wheels. Do it right. Whatever. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I had fun. I feel a lot smarter after watching that. I'm glad to know that I'm not an idiot. Anyways, hopefully you feel the same way. If you do and then you see other people on Instagram that might be a little slow or stupid, send them my way and maybe they'll end up in a video. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed. Subscribe and until next video, peace.